Hey everybody, this is Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff, and this is my husband, John. Hello, I am John. <laughs> so, if you haven't noticed, or probably have, I haven't been around for a while, and there's a good reason for that. It's because we are going to be having a baby. We are pregnant. We're pregnant. Which sounds bizarre. I'm pregnant. <laughs> She's pregnant. I'm pregnant with her. Don't for... really care what's politically correct. <laughs> yes. We are with child. We are having a child. We're expecting. Yes, and so I'm about 17 weeks along right now. There's some unspoken rule that you're not supposed to say anything until after the first trimester because things can happen. And so they say that it's growing well, the little thing. And Yes, we found out on December 25th. It was yes. an unexpected but delightful Christmas present. Yeah, I, I had n no idea at all. I have some idea. Everybody had the idea that I was pregnant except for me. I was just in complete denial. And so that was a really wonderful Christmas gift, but it's taken time to really wrap my mind around it, and mm -hmm. we are extremely excited. It was just... We're at 17 weeks now? Yes, just about. <laughs> so almost mm. halfway. And in this period of time, I haven't been around because I've just been so tired. I know that that's pretty normal for pregnancy. Everybody's pregnancy is different, but I, I just feel like I got hit by a truck then got hit by a truck again, and then that truck came back to make sure that it finished the job. <laughs> so, so, so I've just been sleeping. I feel like that's all my life has been lately is sleeping. And Yeah, some days she just sleeps throughout the whole day. Yeah, so I'm just now starting to get some energy back, which has been really, really nice. Oh, so, but thankfully I didn't get a lot of morning sickness. I just had a lot of uh, deadedness. But she's doing better. I was deaded. She has the energy to make this video. Yes. And we'd like to share a little bit about our child. <laughs> our child! We've got pictures for proof! We recently, within oh, the last week, found out whether it's a boy or a girl. Yeah! It's only one of the two. Yeah, so uh, it's a little Goyle! And actually, we wanted a little girl first. It just, it just felt, yeah. felt right for us. It's a girl, and um, we've got several ultrasound pictures here. She's had three different ultrasounds so far, but this one was an elective one. I'll probably zoom in, and she's stubborn. She would not come out, and so we, all we have is a picture of her brain. We didn't get one of those. <laughs> but we know she has one. <laughs> yes, we didn't get a cute little profile shot or anything to show, which makes me a little bit sad, but uh, we're going to be having the 20-week ultrasound soon. Her name is Olivia Noel. Mm -hmm. Noel because we found out on, on December 25th. Christmas Day, which was not planned. I just happened to have a pregnancy test, and I'm like, all right, we're not doing anything. We are quarantined. We saw nobody on Christmas Day. And so I dipped that stick. I'm like, I'm 80% sure it's, it's negative. And it was big, fat, positive. Mm -hmm. So positive that we're like, oh, great. We're like... Super positive. We're like almost eight weeks along or something like that. So... so. Yeah. And Olivia, because it is reminiscent of an olive branch, which is a symbol of peace between man and God. So Olivia yeah. Noel Solzbach. So I think it's really pretty. And everyone wants to call her Livy. I'm probably going to call her Liv. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so, yeah. I mean, it's just, it's been, it's been crazy, you guys. And I still want to make videos, of course. I love making videos. I just have to have the energy to do it. So I'll just make things as I can. But, uh, We've yeah. been thinking of all of the things that we're excited to introduce her to. Yes. Least of which is, least of which, not least of which, video games. Yeah, we're, we're, we've already agreed on this. If she doesn't like Nintendo, she's going to be disowned. No, just kidding. She, she has to like Nintendo. She can like whatever the heck she wants. I was a little kid who got to play in the mud and make forts and do all those things, so... I want her to do what she enjoys. But she needs to be a prodigy by the age of nine, in college by the age of 12, graduated by age 16, and running for some government office by 20? Sure, 21. because she'll be a homeschooled freak. She'll have a chance to do all that. When you're home educated and you run for public office. Did we say we we're going to homeschool her? <laughs> we're, going to homes we're going to homeschool her. Yes. And people are doing that anyway, and I just feel like that's right It's muy for popular. Us. And he was homeschooled. It turned out okay. He had a childhood. When I he did. told me what his childhood was like versus mine, I'm like, okay. She spent all day in school, and then she went home to do homework. And did crazy, crazy amounts of homework. I spent maybe four or five hours max 
at home doing all of my work. Yeah, I was homework. just a super, super stressed out kid, and I don't want that for her. So yeah, I had time to play, do video games, do all sorts of things. Yeah, and I, and I would love to foster whatever her interests are instead of learning. You know, you have to have a curriculum where they learn things. Yeah, but we want something that is optimized for this individual. If she's really artsy, I want her to do that. If she likes technology and wants to be like me, I want her to do that. I want her to have time and a chance. And Tentatively recalling our school, Soulsbach Christian Hands-On Optimized Learning, which spells school. Which <laughs> I think sounds like a sect, but... <laughs> it would be our special... Compound. <laughs> no one in or out for 20 years. Mm. We'll eat wafer crackers only with stale water. Poor child. <laughs> no, she's going to be very, very loved. She we, will. we are a very good team. We should be allowed together. visitors once a month. <laughs> <laughs> we work together very, very well. We're both. We're close knit. And yes. I remember in a, for the first couple of years of our marriage, I thought if we have a child, I will lose all the attention and affection that Erica supplies me with. <laughs> no, you're always going to be my number one. I didn't even want us to have a dog for that reason, but I have developed some well, security, a, emotional security. A kid is definitely, <laughs> it's, it's going to be our project. Yes, our greatest collaboration. <laughs> we're going to be parents and it's a frightening, mm. scary thing. And we we'll protect her from having too much technology too soon. Yeah. Obviously games are okay. Yeah. In, in the quantities that Definitely. are limited. Definitely. With doing what I do, I know the downsides of having too much tech too soon and being on social media and having infinite amount of likes and becoming completely addicted to that. I want her to go out and play mm -hmm. like I did when I was little. Catch bugs, skin her knee. Yeah, not worry about being affirmed by someone on social media she doesn't know. I want her to have real friends. So Yeah, like stuffed animals and uh, <laughs> Mario. <is> Peanut, <laughs> by the way, her very first toy, which... I hope that it's age appropriate, appropriate, and that she doesn't choke on it. But, Are there uh, beans inside? Yeah, in her butt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's, uh, this is what's up with us, and oh. I will be. be make, oh, I can't even talk, you guys. It's okay. They have. It's like pregnancy brain. This is what I'm told. That She's I, still I, twice I, as smart I'm, as everybody else. I'm forgetful. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I almost fell the other day. Anyway, so. Yeah, I'll be if making you fall, things. I will catch you. <laughs> is that a song? No. I don't know. <laughs> it is I'll, now. <laughs> I will be making things as I can. So thank you guys for your patience and maybe for watching this video and hopefully not being scarred by our shenanigans. Ooh, you could tell us some of your horror stories from how you were raised and what we should avoid doing. Yeah, or if you have sisters or wives who've gone through this pregnancy thing. A lot of you guys are guys who watch these videos. <laughs> guys are guys. But I'm sure that this, uh, you know somebody who's very close to you who's been dealing with this. Go and give her a hug. Everybody you know? was a baby at one point uh, in time. You know, this, this isn't very fun. <laughs> this, I, this child is stretching me out so bad. And it, it hurts because I'm tiny. I'm not even five feet tall. And there's just no room for her. There's no room in, in the there. womb. No room in the womb. We're roommates. She's raiding my fridge all the time. Anyway. See, I got the dad jokes down pat. Terrible puns are my specialty. All right. <laughs> Call me the Punisher. Oh, my word. Okay, so you this know is... I was waiting for that one. <laughs> this has been Erica and John. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And Olivia, too. And Olivia, too. And have a good day, you guys. Bye. Bye.